Hi everybody, holidays are coming. I'm Dr. Lisa Erickson. I'm here to give you another present teaching you how to work on yourself. So today we're going to discuss using your rogue fitness band or your uh, voodoo floss as they like to call it and how to take the idea of breaking up scar tissue underneath the skin and getting that skin nicely gliding over the structures below it and applying it to doing self-care work with tools that is sport specific. So what I would like you to find is a little round ball and I want you to go find a used up bit of a stretchy band. Um, I like this much better than the voodoo floss because the voodoo floss is just too thin. So if you look at the difference, voodoo floss is like two inches wide and the thicker um, stretchy banding is quite a bit wider than that. So our goal is to use a wider band with the same elastic properties to hold our tool to our body. So we're going to go ahead and wrap your, your round ball in the stretchy banding and then go ahead and put it on your forearm. You may want to compress uh, with your leg to help assist this in actually getting on there. And then I'm going to wrap that around. And then we're going to finish up pulling it nice and tightly around so that that round ball is right on top of a muscle that is tight and contracted. And I, with this one, have picked the flexor carpi ulnaris, the most common muscle to give us elbow tinnitus on the inside of our elbow, down in here. And so this muscle is sitting right on the tendon as it runs by the bone further up. And with chronic inflammation, what we see is that the tendon becomes adhered to the skin and there's tons of friction as they try to glide by each other. Instead, they're a little bit adhered and they tend to grab. And that can be a common reason why the muscle tends to stay tight instead of loosening up and relaxing. So we're going to affect the, partly the physical location of what we're working on. The other component of it is we're actually going to affect the brain by working on this, um, by asking that muscle to flex and extend. So we're going to do maybe five to ten passes of flexion and extension. And then, ooh, that's nice and adhered. I was climbing this afternoon. Um, and then from flexion and extension, we're going to work into these angular motions. So flexion and a, almost like a side pull motion. And then we're going to come up and out. So 45 degree angles. And what we're doing, this is called flossing. And we are loosening up the connective tissue as it's gliding underneath the skin. We're holding the skin with this tool, this ball pressed into that area and we're gliding the tissue below it. So there is one, and then what we can do is we can get into more climbing specific. So you can either get in an undercling position, and that will also glide that tissue. We can get into a side pull position, and that will also loosen up that tissue. Um, so any motion that you would normally do with climbing, um, maybe like a press on the wall to loosen up these tissues. So if we're not doing it in an active, um, angular motion, you only get what you put into it. So we are not these creatures that just move in a frontal plane. Um, we do all kinds of rotational, rotational angular motions on the wall. And so that's where these tools come in is to loosen that up. So let's take the same principle that we applied on this specific muscle and let's swap it to a totally different region. Let's go further up into the elbow. And the elbow is a funky one because there's all these muscles that attach here. So let's go ahead and attach that tool Let's go ahead and wrap around, get it nice and tight, tuck the rubber underneath, that helps to hold it in place, so we have our tool in there, and then let's go ahead and bend the elbow and extend the elbow. So we're, what we're doing is we're gliding the muscle underneath the surface, and we are loosening up any little bits of scar tissue that hold it together. And then we're going to open up the arm, we're going to go the other direction. And then maybe we can do like a um, uh, getting into a close body position, loosening that up. So all climbing specific motions, but getting that tissue to glide and not be stuck. Because when we have chronic inflammation, these things tend to get adhered to each other. And then all of a sudden our muscles and our tissues don't glide. And if we have scar tissue holding the skin to the, to the muscle fiber or the tendon below it, um, as soon as we start to stretch that scar tissue, all of a sudden that will create a reflex, a protective mechanism that makes it tighten up to protect itself. So unless we're breaking it up on our own, this stuff just keeps, keeps going on. So now we're going to flex and extend the wrist and the elbow at the same time. So you'll start to notice when are you done, you'll start to feel it gliding nicely, not actually feeling adhered or stuck anymore. 
So that is our example for the wrist and the elbow. Go after it, have fun, work on the areas that feel stuck or adhered, um, and definitely let pain be your guide. If you already have an area that's bothering you and is tender, this is not a perfect treatment for that because it may uh, irritate the injury that you already have. This is going to create inflammation and irritation. However, it's going to make those tissues pliable, more flexible, you can fire them better, um, but it does not come without its side effects. So you definitely don't want to be doing this five minutes before a major um, endeavor. Um, and then you definitely want to make sure you don't do this every single day. This is something you only need to do a few times, maybe three, four times till that's, oh, that feels so much better, um, and until that loosens up. And when you notice the amount of effort you're putting into it is not giving you the gains that you once were getting, then all of a sudden you're done and you don't need to put any more effort into it. So that's the example of the wrist and the elbow, and I have many more examples on my website, climbinginjuriesolved.com. Thank you so much for checking in with me, and the goal is to teach you how to work on yourself to prevent injuries and, and uh, continue to have your ranges of motion so you don't have these things crop up that we can prevent or fix. Thank you so much for tuning in with me.